The game focused on personal relationships. Our first challenge was to come up with a believable and engaging setting to make this story meaningful. We knew for sure that we want the background of our story to be difficult conditions of the nature, but that was not enough. Still, Siberia did not come to our minds immediately. We wanted to set this history in a time when society was strongly divided and when building human relationships could be extremely difficult, and that was the basis of our research. The final choice of the Russian Revolution seemed to us like the perfect background for the topic raised in the game. We want to tell a story of a people who are suddenly put in a situation where they have worked together despite their differences to endure and to survive. During every revolution, divisions resound most strongly, often taking a radical character. You stop seeing a human being on the other side. Russia in 1917 was exactly that kind of a place. The October Revolution was a moment that redefined the Russian society. It was the moment when the old world succumbed to the pressure of the new one, and we found it very interesting because there's not a lot of such points in the history. The French Revolution, the fall of the Roman Empire, and a few others, including October 1917. And so, we have Russia on the verge of the Bolshevik Revolution. The Tsarist forces are engaged in the devastating conflict with the German Empire on the west and the long-term warfare deepens the economic crisis. There's hunger and poverty all around. Meanwhile, the Bolsheviks are growing in strength. Around the same time Tsar Nicholas abdicates. The country is on the brink of chaos. But Help Will Come Tomorrow is not a game about revolution, Tsar or communism. Against the backdrop of these great political events, there is a group of passengers of the lonely Trans-Siberian train. Suddenly, there was an accident right in the very heart of the frigid Siberia. But maybe it was not an accident. And this is where the story begins. We have a handful of survivors, all of different social classes and origins. So at first, they don't have much in common. In your team, you can have a delicate aristocratic lady, dedicated Marxist, or the general of the Tsarist army. And all those people are stuck together in the middle of nowhere. So, how will they fare? Will they manage to find a common language despite the class and social differences? Will they cooperate? Or will they end up at each other's throats? It all depends on the player who will be managing those relationships. Another motivation for this particular setting for the game was to show the players this historical period rarely explored by the gaming industry. To this day, the subject of revolution raises a lot of emotions, not only in Russia. In our game, we try not to judge it, but to focus on the people involved. Using these settings, we want to talk about universal problems which are still present even in our times. Exactly. Modern societies can also be divided politically and ideologically. We wanted for our game to represent the problem of social divisions. So, we offered the player a chance to experience them from the perspective of people involved in an interesting and important historical setting.